Hey guys, how's it going? I thought I'd share this with you real quick, not really a big deal, this isn't a study or anything, it's just I'm going to talk about the website and stuff a little bit. I've been stressed out here for the past few hours trying to figure out some ways to to make the website do what I want it to, and it's not always easy. Sometimes it's really stressful and I could go like days trying different things and sometimes I can make things worse. But Anyways, actually, I'm going to go back to the kjvchat.com, and um, it's a little different now. I'm probably going to, I might make some changes to it, but I did this because it didn't look right on the mobile site, and so I have to figure things out to where it looks good on the desktop site and to where it, it looks good and it's functionable and everything on the mobile site as well, and so... I did this kind of like uh, the main page, and I changed the main page for the mobile site too. And it's kind of an awkward way in which I did this, but anyways, uh, I have something. It's like a uh, let me think. I don't know. It's like a header or something, and I put the the stuff on this header. And then on the mobile app, there is no header, so it, none of this shows. And then I put what's on the mobile page, like, underneath this. So whatever's on the mobile is, like, hidden underneath this. Uh, so it's pretty weird. It's not, not a good way of doing it, probably, but I guess it works. Uh, so now there's still kjvchat.com. It has the chat. It has the, the Bible. Um, but there's some other things that I had on here that I'd like to add back. I did have the menu, like the menu for the whole website. I'd like to get that back on, but I was having trouble figuring that out. But anyways, it, it doesn't really matter, I guess. I put a link here to go to the main site so people can click on that. I kind of like them to be able to see the menu and everything from the KJV chat thing. But the big thing is... And then on the main page, when you go to acceptyoubeconverted.com and it shows the gospel video, and then it says click here to enter, um, I made that also be on the mobile site. And um, so that wasn't there before, and then people can easily go to the main page on the mobile site, and it uh, it's better that way too. So I'm glad this weekend at least I made some improvements on the website here. But then what I was really stressed out about today was the forum. And the forum's not always easy. So, uh, the forum, I like how I edited it here to make it look like the rest of the site and everything. I was really pleased with this for the most part. And, uh, being able to have the chat here too. But when you go to the mobile site, it was messed up. Okay, it didn't all look right. So, I tried different things to make it look right, couldn't really do it. Uh, it was functional, like you could use it, but it's, I can't explain it, just, um, basically everything was pretty much alright, except for the banner and stuff, it was getting cut off and it wasn't showing it, and I didn't really like that, because I want it to look nice, you know, um, so I tried different things, I tried to use, uh, tried to use, like, a mobile version of the forum, and I thought, like, if you got on the, if you got on a phone on the forum or something, it would automatically switch or something, but it didn't do that. And I just, I had so many problems and it was just stressed me out. But just recently, just not long ago, I figured out about these extensions, which are really awesome. And there's a style change extension. And so you can easily click here and switch styles. And I might add more. But the dark blue here, this is the mobile. This is the mobile version. So this looks really nice on the phone. Uh, on, on a tablet or whatever, okay, it even looks nice on the desktop, but it doesn't have the chat, it doesn't have the chat room, it doesn't look like the website, um, you know, this is dark, I kind of like that, but I can, I can put a white one on there too, basically the same thing, but, and then here, you can easily switch, and you can do this on the phone, or whatever, but the SE Gamer Lite is the, the, the one that looks like the website that has the chat and everything, but, this just makes me so happy that I figured this out. Um, wow. So that's just great. And so I have this, uh, the dark blue as the default. So anybody who's new that comes to the website who's not signed up on the form or anything, you're going to see this automatically. And then even if you join, it will be this by default. But you can easily just click on this now and switch it. 
and before you could switch it in the user control panel but that's a little bit more work but I found this extension that puts it right up front like that and just easily bam you can just switch from one to the other and that makes me so happy like I can get on my phone now and use this like to perfection like and I'm gonna put the try I'm trying to put the KJV forum banner up here so uh, that's something else that I gotta work on that's that's stressing me out but I'll get that figured out so that's awesome, and I found out there's all these extensions that I can add, um, like e being able to easily ban people, like add flags from what country you're from, add pages to where people can make their own pages on here, and I'm just, I need to search through this stuff, but it's pretty awesome. So it'd be great if you join the forum and start making posts, and we can start putting studies together and discussing doctrines and stuff. But I just thought I'd share that if you do check out the forum, you can see the style changer, and I might add more styles, and I might rename them if I can, I don't know. But uh, basically, that's this is a feature that makes me really happy, and I'm glad just this weekend, just figuring this stuff out is like a huge accomplishment for me. Because this stuff can be very stressful, and take a lot of time, and... You know, it's like you have a vision for what you want to create, but then creating that, making that happen is not always that easy. Even for experienced people. I mean, I don't really have experience in this stuff. I'm just learning by experience. I just search for answers and stuff when I get stuck on things. But, you know, even people who have experience, you know, some of the stuff can be tough. But I'm so happy now I have a beautiful looking mobile version for the forum. The mobile version for the KJV chat, it's alright. You go there on the phone, basically all that it has is click here to enter chat room. Okay, because I have the chat, the, the whole idea for the kjvchat.com is to have the Bible next to it, but it doesn't really work on the mobile. So on the mobile, all you do is get the chat. But it looks nice, looks better than it did. And so it's important for me to make sure that, you know, the desktop looks good and also the mobile version. Because I know a lot of people probably have more, more have, more people probably have phones than, than they do computers. They're going to be checking the website on the phone. So that's what I got to make sure it's, it's easy to use and it's, and it's neat and everything on the phone. So it's, it's a struggle to, to, um, do that sometimes. But the Weebly, uh, builder that I use for the website does uh, have a pretty nice mobile feature where it, it it makes the menu and everything mobile good but uh, sometimes things don't work as well on the mobile as they do on the desktop. I think the desktop's always going to be a little bit better. It's going to look better, probably have some extra features that aren't on the mobile but for the most part I need to try to get the mobile as good as I can as well. So. But wow, praise God. I'm just so happy that I thought I was never going to figure this out. And uh, I'm so pleased with this. So I just thought I'd share that with you. If you ever do check out the forum, just know that you can switch the styles like this. And uh, that's it. God bless.